and welcome back to Conan Exiles. It's uh, been a while since I picked up this game, I think it's about two years, but I used to play an awful lot of Exiles, it's great fun and I've always meant to come back. And since I left, I mean there's been so many changes to the game, like you can ride horses and tame animals and all sorts of other bits and pieces, and I thought it was time to dive in again. I'm going to treat this first episode like a beginner's guide, so if you've never played the game before, this is probably quite a good jumping off point for you. We've got a number of options as far as playing. We can play online or we can go single player. Uh, single player you play off your own computer, don't need an online connection. And that's quite useful if you just want to use Conan Exiles for building for example. You can do all the adventures but it's very useful for building because you can actually switch off the decay timer which gradually destroys buildings if you don't visit them often enough. But we're going to play online because we like playing with other people. Let's select one. And we've got three options here. We've got PvP, which is player versus player, which means that other people playing the game can attack you and destroy your buildings and property, which we don't particularly want. Then there's PvE conflict, which is people versus the environment conflict. And that basically means that other players can attack you <laughs> again, but they can't destroy your property. Which again is good if you like building and want to keep your buildings intact. But I'm going to play PvE, which means that the game can kill me, but other players can't attack me or destroy anything I own. Yeah, I've played Conflict and PvP in the past, but I never sort of look for aggro with other people. And while it's quite exciting not knowing if someone's going to attack you or not, when they do, it's just a waste of my time, really. I'd much rather be doing something else than defending myself constantly. So I've chosen a PvE server to join. Yeah, if you're unsure about how to choose a server, I'll put some notes in the video description and tell you what you need to know. It's fairly straightforward. Here we go. Here's the Exiled Lands. Here's my character. <laughs> Who I've tried to make look a little bit like Debbie Harry for some reason. I'm not sure why. Anyway, the object is to run around getting XP points, experience points, and to level up. And once we level up, we get other kinds of points. We get points to spend on improving our character. For example, increasing our strength or our agility or our carry capacity. And there's other points we get that we can spend on recipes. And the quickest way of actually leveling up and getting XP is to carry out the journey steps. And at the top right of the screen, you can see journey. And underneath it, it says climb, drink and eat. And those are just three simple journey steps. We don't have to do those, I and mean, we will, but we don't have to do them, and we don't have to do the journey steps in any order. So just do them as you come across them, and most of the early journey steps are associated with very simple actions, so it's very easy to level up in the early game. So for example, the first journey step here is climb, and if we want to climb something, whoop, come on, oh dodge, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get the character moving, and I dodged completing a journey step. If I want to climb, I just run at something, press X. I've also discovered the broken highway, which is this location. I've gained the level already, so it's dead easy in the early game. Another journey step completed, climb. Yeah, so this is the... Oh, I'll show you on the map, actually. This is the broken highway, and this is where you will uh, spawn if you die. I mean, there's a bit more to it than that. But if I was to die now, I would spawn back here. But there's a number of other of these broken highway locations spread through the desert. And what we want to do now is sort of head north, picking up things as we go. Because we need to get to a supply of water. But as we go, we shall pick up these stones. And I'm just pressing the square button here to interact with these objects. It's all quite easy. And we want to interact with these bushes because we're getting plant fibre out of them and seeds and insects it's all very useful and you can see all the stuff we're collecting appearing on the right hand side of the screen but we want to collect stones and branches initially and here we go, here's something it's a water bottle, very important let's pick that up and we found signs of intelligent life another journey step which is this scrawled note. Let's interact. I am beaten, left to rot among the ruins of the past. There are others here, 
Slaves, bandits and cannibals, exiles from lands I've never heard of. Some of them try to scrape a life from the wasteland, scrabbling in the rocks and sand for their own place. I cannot go on. The life that I left behind haunts me. The sun over the glittering spires of Belverus is forever denied me. The smell of my daughter's hair. I will pass the ghost fence, and this cursed land will finally end me. To whoever reads this note, I leave the last of my water and this message. Stranger, you have my pity. You do not know how cursed you truly are. Ah, nice cheery note. Yeah, and the ghost wall is the wall that surrounds the exiled lands. And if you try and go past them, you die, basically. So that's the limit of this world. Let's keep going, and there's a horrible monster up here that doesn't attack us, thank goodness. But always seems to give me a fright whenever I play this game. Here it is, like a bat creature. Go on, clear off. Go away. Yeah, shut up. And those little bastards, you find, well, you find a lot of them here in the Forbidden City, which is a very unpleasant place. Anyway, we've been picking up loads and loads of branches. What's going on here? Oh dear, what's that? Gods cursed this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I've put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that liked fire, or the bite of the axe. Okay, another cheery note. If you look at the top left hand corner, you see that red bar at the top, and that's my health. And then there's the yellow bar underneath, and that's my stamina. And then you've got four circles. And the first one has got my water level. The second one has got food. The third one is encumbrance, showing how much I'm carrying. And then there's the temperature at the ends. And that's not so important down here. But when you go up north, I'll show you the map. When you get up north, the um, temperature becomes quite important. <laughs> it's very easy to freeze at the north of the map. But what we want to do now is go to the main menu, which we do by pressing the central pad. And on the left, you can see everything in my inventory. If I arrow round, come on. Here we go. So I've got some stone and sticks and other bits and pieces. Got some seeds there. In the middle is my character, who's technically naked at the moment. I'm not wearing any proper clothes. And on the right hand side you can see crafting menu and these are crafting recipes that the game gives you for free. And what we're going to do is make uh, an axe. And in the middle there you can see stone hatchet, an axe of sharpened stone for chopping wood. Items required branch and stone. And I need five branches and five stone and I've got both of those. So if I now press X to craft they put in my crafting queue. And I'm also going to do the same for the stone pick. And that also requires five branches and five stone. There's another level up. Very useful. Here we go. Crafted a tool. Okay. That storm sounds a bit evil. There are sandstorms that sweep across the map. And if they catch you out in the open they will kill you. And it used to be that you were safe down here, but I think they've changed it slightly. So that even in the southern desert here, you're at risk. Damn. Where can I hide from this thing? Okay, I, I might be worrying for nothing. Damn, what on earth's going on? Crap. Oh, this, is, this is new. <laughs> oh, there's an imp over there. We want to kill him and take his flesh. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to press L1, which brings up a circular menu. And I'm just going to toggle down to pick up the hatchet. And it's equipped. It's very handy. And what we're going to do is bash this fella on the head. Oh, well, come on. Back off a bit. Oh, he's chasing us. Back off. 
they're fairly feeble, but if enough of them surround you... And again, ah, oh, you see, taking a lot of health there. Whack again. Slay. Damn, he just disappeared. Gains another level. So easy getting levels. Okay, I was going to rob his body. Well, that is unusual. Now, I've got the hatchet up again, which slows me down a bit. So I'm going to press L1. Select the hatchet and put it away. And I'm getting quite low on water. So I want to get to a body of water quite quickly. Oh, actually, the other thing I can do, if I go to the central menu, and if I go over to... Here we go. If I select as my coarse tunic, and I can craft that. And I can also do the same with trousers. And with the shoes. And with the gloves. So I've just made myself a little suit of clothes, and they'll craft it away at the bottom. See the crafting queue at the bottom there. And they'll automatically equip when they're done, which is quite handy. Blimey, what was that? Stone fell out of nowhere. That happens sometimes. Stones will fall down. Right, let's start running. Because, yeah, our water's critical. We've got a water bag. But we might as well run to the river. Which is just over here. It's a rabbit. Good eating. That noise indicates we're being chased by something nasty. Probably an imp. Let's sprint. See our stamina bar going right down. Right, let's drink some water. And to drink water, we just look at water and interact with it. There we go. So I just press the square button to interact. Let's swim over to this island. Yeah, this area down here is, is normally quite safe. This is like the oasis area. This is obviously where all the newbies start out. Someone's little house over here. Let's have a look at it. Right, our stamina will return now. That's nice, isn't it? Well, it's not a brilliant little house. We've got the horse and everything. Oh, how good. That's quite jolly, isn't it? Now, what I want to do next is find something to eat. There's a rabbit over there. Let's see if we can get the rabbit. So let's call up the hatchet. And whack in the head. Go on, you little bastard. Go on. Surprisingly hard to catch up with the rabbit. Now, if we want to harvest the corpse, we chop at it. And I've just got some hide out of that, which I didn't want. I wanted some food. Where's the other rabbit gone? Gains a level for doing something. Probably just, uh, yeah, my stomach hurts. Right, what I'm going to do is eat some insects. They're quite a good staple. No insects there. Let's go and rob some more plants. Yeah, you will die quite quickly if you run out of food or water in this game. Right, got a few insects. Got some seeds. You can actually make gruel out of seeds. Right, I can hear a crocodile. Where is he? There he is, little bastard. There's loads and loads of crocodiles. They don't normally follow you across water, which is why the oasis area is quite safe, really. As long as you're near water, you can always jump into it and swim away. Over here. Let's look at our menu. Uh, right, it looks like the seeds are in our circular menu. No, the insects rather. So if I just select the insects. Come on. Right, I've eaten something. And again, I want to get my strength up. So I'm just pressing L1 all the time and selecting the insects. And that means I'm eating them. But they just keep me going. They're not a filling meal, insects, as you might expect. Is there some eggs over there? Yeah, these things are called shalebacks. And let's get rid of this. Quite unpleasant monsters. 
They're very aggressive, the big ones are anyway. Yeah, you see me. Right, let's piss off. I think we're just going to outrun this one. We could go in the water, but I can't be bothered. They sort of give up. They don't stray too far from their nests. He said. Oh, he's still coming. Bloody hell. Oh, let's swim away. I really want to get some decent grub down me. Right, he's stopped now. Go along here. I mean, I can keep going on insects, but I'd rather not. All these berries in these bushes. Desert berries, yeah. They're quite good. Pick up lots and lots of these. Come on. Oh, look, I didn't notice that. Let's run up, say hello. This will be a camp. There are lots of tribesmen around here. There we go, I've discovered something. Right, and I've scouted a Black Hand camp. Yeah, there are various tribes. There's the Black Hands. Can't remember the other ones. Defari is another tribe, I think. They've got camps all over the exiled lands. They're quite dangerous. I'm surprised they didn't attack me, to be honest with you. There you go. Oh, look. Right, I've got quite low strength. I doubt I'll be able to take on one of these fellas. I've gained a level doing something. Hello. What's going on? Right, the, that is an, an NPC, a thrall, attacking a crocodile. Let's wait this out, see what happens. Get me hatched up. Alright, he's coming for me now. Oh, he's quite a tough fighter. I don't want to have anything to do with him. I do want this. Alright, I've got a bit of fell flesh. Let's jump in the water. <laughs> Let's run away. He was a level 3. If he was a level 1, I might be tempted to take him on. I'm not taking you on. You look horrid. Let's get rid of the um, the axe. Out of stamina again. Is he going to chase me? Where's he gone? Ooh, like more bushes. Right. Food is getting quite serious. Oh, there's a baby deer there. I could probably kill that. Come on. No, oh, not the tree. Ah, oh, quick, quick. There. Little bastard. Hey. They're so fast. Oh, I can't I can't catch him. No. <laughs> I'm simply not strong enough. Kill them quickly. Come on. Let's interact with these damn bushes. Let's go to our menu. Right, looks like the berries have gone into the circular menu too. Yeah, they're at the bottom. Select. 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 Right, let's build a fire now. I think this area is going to be fairly safe for us. I hope we'll wrap it. Good, let's harvest you. Oh, I got a little bit of feral flesh then. Very nice. Uh, let's put that away. Let's have a look at the, the points we've been picking up. So I press the central pad to get here. And then I'm going to R2 to get to the next menu. And I've got seven unspent points at the top. And now I can start allocating them. So I'm going to put... Yeah, five into strength. Uh, agility. Agility is useful, but vitality is the size of your health pool, which is quite good. Accuracy is only really useful if you're becoming an archer, to be honest with you. Grit. Um, that's just the size of your stamina pool, which is quite good, actually. So I'll put a couple of points in there. Now you'll notice that in the early days the cost of these is quite low, so cost one, cost one, cost one. 
but because I've put five points into strength, the cost of those has gone up by two, and they do gradually increase. So the idea is that as you get points, you distribute them between these attributes. But don't get too hung up about it, because later on in the game you can actually pick up a potion, or rather you can easily make a potion that will let you reset all those points. So don't get hung up about actually how you distribute them in the early game. But I would recommend strength, just because you can kill deer very quickly and don't have to chase them around the place. And let's go back to that menu. It's R2. Let's go past this menu. This is where we can actually buy skills to make stuff. If I go down to survival, you see that some of these recipes, like this one here, have got three dots under them, and that means that we can actually purchase them. Because some recipes you can't actually acquire until you reach a certain level. They've got these lock symbols on them. But the box here I could uh, open up because it's indicated by the three dots. But what I want to do is learn the recipe for making a campfire. So I'm just going to select that. So there we go, another journey step completed. I've spent some knowledge points. And I might as well get that box. And I might as well, in fact, um, where are we? Which one's going to be most useful? Stone sword is quite good. Bow and arrow. Shields. That's stone daggers, stone throwing axe, stone spear. The one I really want is, where is it? Oh, I can't remember where it is. It's one that lets you make a stone pike. But let's get the shield for the time being. And the sword. Should be quite good. So if you look at the top right, saying I've got two of these knowledge points available. I've spent five. I won't spend any more at the moment. What I will do is go back to the crafting menu. Go and select fire. It's saying I need branch and stone. and I've run out of both of those. So I've got to go and collect them. Come on. Come on, pick up the branches. And for stone, rather than just pick up loose stone, I can select my pick. I can whack these boulders. Alright, weak with hunger, which is a bad sign. Let's see what else we can eat. We can get some more berries. Come on. Put some seeds out of that. Okay, let's quickly, quickly build our fire. We should have enough to make it. Yeah, dying of hunger and thirst are very real problems. So we can make that. And again, this should appear in our circular menu, I think. Let's come out. There it is. Put it down there. Go on. There we go, that's selected. Oh, now I need to get some wood. Get the hatchet. Drop that down. Got some wood for fuel. Let's open that up. Let's move the wood from here. So there's the wood I've selected. I've got 13 wood. I'm going to select it and then move it over there. I want to move all the 13. Now I've got to get the feral flesh out of my menu. There it is. I don't want to eat that. How do I get it out of there? Um, okay, let's make some gruel instead. Um, what do I do? All right, okay, let's go back. <laughs> And we got some seeds. Let's move those over. All 23. And I need to burn plant fibre for some reason. I'll get rid of the wood. And I'll take. To get the fire going, I go over to custom. And then I press L2 to get it going. So you can see the crafting key at the bottom there. Got some lovely gruel. Nice, 20. I don't know how good this gruel is, actually. I normally feed it to slaves. But while it's cooking, we can actually eat it out of the fire. So let's... Where are we? Come on. Find the cursor toggling over. And I'm going to use it by pressing square. 
Square, square. Hmm, eating on this lovely gruel. Has that sorted out my health? <laughs> Let's take all, press triangle. Oh, it's given me a little bit of food, hasn't it? I'm about a quarter full. My stomach still hurts. Let us... Has it gone on the... No, it hasn't gone on that menu. What I want to do is get that feral flesh out of the circular menu. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to select an empty space. And I'm going to pick that. There we go. It's moved into that menu. Let's go back to the fire. Open it. Let's put the wood back in. So select, move over, put it in, select 13, select the feral flesh. If I ate that feral flesh without it being cooked, it would poison me to the extent that I would probably die. So I moved up to custom, and then you press L2 to get the fire going. Come on. And that's turning that into shredded roast, I think it's called. Do we get one more out of you? Yeah, we go three. Let's eat that straight away. Use. Right, I'm going to level. Come out. Ate a filling meal. Right, night has come down on us. The night cycle is something like um, seven minutes of darkness to 60 minutes of daylight, I think. Or it might be less. might be 45 minutes of daylight. But the thing about night time in the Exiled Lands that it gets completely bloody dark. So what I'm going to do, go to my menu, and I'm going to go over and make a torch. Ah, now it's telling me I need five branches and five plant fibre. So we need to get into a bush, collect some plant fibre. A bit more, get a bit more, there's another bush there. Right, in the early game it just does pay to just scavenge all the time really. Picked up a worker bee for some reason. I think that's an ingredient in some recipe. I'm not sure what. Come on. Let's go back and make that torch. Hit the central pad. Go over to the torch on the right hand side. We've highlighted it there, you can see. And we've got the five branches, we've got the five plant fibre. Let's join the crafting queue. Here we go, and again, that'll be my circular menu. The game automatically puts useful bits and pieces into your circular menu at the start of the game. But once all these slots are filled up, then you have to organise it yourself. I'm going to select the torch. There we go, another journey step. See, it is very straightforward. Let's get rid of the hatchet. Start picking up some bits and pieces. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody crocodiles. Come on, run off. How annoying. He's still coming for me, isn't he? Is he? If I had a stone pike, I'd take him on. I can't actually see him. Oh, there he is. Look. Oh, he's running off again now. Get out one. Oh, he's coming back. He changed his mind. <laughs> Let's get rid of the torch while we're swimming. Let's shelter over here. And we're quite close to that thrall camp, but never mind, eh? That's the trouble with wandering around in the dark. You bump into some horrible characters. So the music's calmed down. Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. Piss off. Let's go back again to the crocodile. Now let's go somewhere else. <laughs> let's go over here. It was safer over here, I think. Now what I want to do before I finish this episode is build myself a little house to have a little base. It takes for bloody ever swimming. Right, out of stamina. Doesn't really matter that I'm out of stamina. I should say. Come on. Okay, the only problem would be if, if I suddenly confronted a crocodile, 
I wouldn't have the strength to run away from it. But stamina does recover very quickly. Pick up some more of this stuff. Oh, bloody hell, I don't believe it. Let's try and outrun the stupid crocodile. There are so many crocodiles in this bloody game. <laughs> There's perhaps too many, in fact. I'll, I'll just come out and say that. Let's go over here. Come on. Right, I'm just looking at my journey steps. One of my journey steps is kick. How do I do that? Do I, I'm going to press buttons. There we go. So that was just L2. It's a kick. Wahar. Very nice. There's dodge, which is that, which we've already done. Right, let's spend some of those points we've been earning. Hit the central pad, then R2. So we've got four points to spend, and I'm going to put them all in strength. I think that's a good deal. We've got some proper trees here. These trees will give me a lot of wood if I chop them down. I won't at the moment, though. Oh, actually, I might as well, really. Hang on, where am I on the map? Hang on. No, I won't. What, where I want to be is over here. Uh, because this is my favourite route to the north up this river. So what I want to do is actually head in that direction. Do a little bit of exploring perhaps. And then we'll build our house closer to that river mouth. Let's run along. I might cut around this if it gets a bit boring. If it's just me running into and away from crocodiles. You probably don't want to see too much of that. Oh, look, there's a little camp over there. Yeah, apart from the big settlements, you get these like little camps of outcasts. There's like one, two or three people. And they're quite good to fight, actually. Ah, oh, she says running away. Right, let's come on, let's run. I'm crippled. That's not good. Right, they got me with an arrow then. Yeah, I don't think I'm strong enough to take on a, f a fight with anyone at the moment. Or a bloody crocodile. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Blimey. I want a shale back over here. Their eggs are quite yummy. They're not that difficult to steal, frankly. See if you can steal an egg. Come on. Interact with the eggs. Steal them. Steal them. Quick. And then run away. So that's a bit more grub. Oh, we need to get a dedicated weapon. Let's build one. So we can build a sword now. God, look at this. What was that? Right, two outcasts were fighting something. Oh, they see me now. They're very belligerent, I have to say. Just run away from the outcasts. <laughs> Are they still coming? Sounds like it, doesn't it? Pick some stuff out of this bush. Well, hey! Never pass a bush without robbing it. Still coming, I think. Oh, it's dying away now. Are we sort of safe here? Well, there's an imp over there. Someone's house. Very impressive. Let's try and make that sword. The stone sword. Let's go over. So when I learn a recipe, the recipes I learn appear in this side menu here. So I've got a stone sword, but I need five branches and I need some twine as well. Now I can make twine out of plant fibre. So I go up to twine, press craft. Let's make a few of those. Come out. So I need some more stone it seems. Get some more fibre while we're at it. Easy thing is to get the pick up. Whack this, come on. Whack, whack, whack. Oh, tough old rock. Is it stone or branches I needed? I can't remember now. Let's pick this up. I could also get branches by chopping down a tree, but I won't for the time being. Let's look at this building. Get rid of that. Where's that imp? I can hear an imp. He was down here, wasn't he? There he is. I oh, will leave him alone. This is someone's house. 
quite impressive. Well, I mean, it's fairly impressive. Some of the houses you get in Exiles is absolutely brilliant and it's incredible. Right, so there's a lone Exile over there. They'd be quite easy pickings, I reckon. I think that's an iron node over there. That big rock. I'm going to swim over to it. So I know that's a journey step. Say hello to this person. Oh no, I've discovered something. But he's very rude. Ignore him. So I've scouted a Defari camp. He must have been a Defari. This is an iron node. This gives you iron ore. And I know there's a journey step that says completely mine one of these things. So let's whack it. On the iron stone. There we go. Mine all the iron in a node. Put away the stone pick. Let's swim over here. I've got a sign on the left there saying soothing. I'm not sure what that is. I don't ever remember seeing that before. This might be a new thing in the game. There's all sorts of little changes being made. Like the um like the sandstorms actually coming this far south. Because this used to be a safe area for sandstorms. And they will kill you very quickly. Which is another reason to actually get a shelter built. Right, we've got two people over here fighting a crocodile. I'm just going to watch them. Oh no. Go on. Fight the crocodile. Fight it. Go on. Just kicking it. Whack it, whack it with a hammer. Go on. While they're doing that, I can make that stone sword, couldn't I? Yeah, I don't know if we need for that. Let's craft it up. Good. That's it. Come after me. Gain to level. Because what I want to do... Right, I've completed a thing. I want to rob their bodies. Where are they? There we go. Come on. Damn. Alright, he's right behind me. Little bastard. Let's go over here. If I had a stone pike, I'd take you on. But I don't. Right, you'll bugger off in a second. No, I'm clear off. That's it. You keep going, Mush. You keep going. I just want to see if they've got anything that I can pinch. Oh, he's not going very far, is he? Can I pinch anything there? Loot all. Loot all. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Right, okay. Stop it. Took quite a chunk of health out of me. And that person didn't have anything I wanted, really. Right, let's piss off. What you can do sometimes is lead crocodiles against shalebacks. And they fight each other. Come on. Come and have a say hello to this crocodile. Right, I'm hungry and thirsty, it seems. Go on. Look. Oh, look, they're ignoring each other. That's disappointing. Right, I'm going to drink. Which is pressing square to interact with the water. Let's get some food down us. Let's get some insects. Come on. Keep us going for a little bit. Get some more insects out of this, perhaps. There's lots of plant fiber out of this one. Uh -huh. Come on. Oh, this is an insect one. Oh, he, he said there being no insects. There's got some insects out of there. Got some seeds. Right, keep running. Oh, we've got those eggs to eat, haven't we? Forgot about them. We'll have those later. We'll have those for our tea. Jump up here. Oh, these are quite good. Oh, bollocks. I was going to say. <laughs> the young ones are quite easy pickings. But of course, not when daddy's around. Discover the sentinels. Another location. And these all appear as named locations on my map now. It's quite fun. I've got someone's camp over here, I think. 
Is that, is that someone's camp? Are they just all fighting that crocodile? Right, and no, this is a camp. Those are someone's slaves, and I think that's a tame crocodile. Right, okay, what's going on? Damn. Ah! Are those thralls or what? I think those are thralls that belong to someone. But I can't see the owner's house. So, Alright, let's get the hatchet up. Got some savoury flesh out of that. Yeah, these are thralls. Got a head. Come on, come on. Run away. Yeah, so these are slaves of someone. And that's someone's pet. But they're not attacking me, thank goodness. So my stomach hurts. It's like they're warning me that I'm starving to death. Got some savoury flesh though, so we can cook that up. Or oh, some more eggs. I was forgetting about the eggs. Ow, bollocks. Bloody hyena. Right, run away, run away, run away. Run, run, run. What's a bloody hyena's doing here? Fucking bastards. You normally don't get hyenas this far south. Are they someone's pet? Oh, oh, that might be another change in the game. Hyenas used to be something you'd find a bit further north. Utter sod. Pick some berries. But that's why it's so useful just sticking close to the water. Of course you can just jump into a lake and swim away. Swim away from anything. Now, where are we on the map? We are around the corner from where we want to be. So let's go up here. Find somewhere safe. Ish. Nowhere's completely safe. Bit worrying that there's bloody hyenas around here. Oh, don't do that. How about this? Is this a good building spot? Ooh, I don't know. What are you up to? Right, another exile fighting some horrible things. Pinch your eggs! Well, oh, pinch one anyway. Let's go over here. Oh, I really do need to get some food down me. We'll do that next, and then I'll build a little house, and then I think we'll call it a day. Yeah, so that waterfall behind us, hang on, I'll turn around. That waterfall over there is our route to the north, where there's loads of iron and coal. Uh, let's build a fire. Down we go. Oh, I need branches, bollocks. Um, right, let's get the hatchet up. If I start chopping this tree down, that should give us some branches. No? Yeah, I've got one branch out of it. How about this one? Oh, get us a branch. Oh, right, bollocks. Uh, Alright, these tend to give you branches. These are um, little ferns. N not, not ferns, what are they called? Like, like, they're like banana trees or something. Don't get any bananas out of them, though. No. Very few branches. There were loads of branches before, weren't there? There's none around here. Right, I need to eat some berries. Oh, and the eggs. Don't forget the eggs. Alright, that's a bit better. Find some branches. Ah, oh, how annoying. We've been running over millions of the damn things, haven't we? And just not been picking them up. Out of stamina. Let's put the hatchet down. This is a nice spot, though. It looks fairly safe, doesn't it? We're close to these nice buildings and that over there. Branches, please. Oh, a 
we've discovered Shattered Bridge, which is that over there, I think. Again, that's lots of XP you can get. I don't believe it. There's no there's no branches around here. It's crazy. Let's go back to chopping down trees. I've right, got some branches there. <clears throat> I've right, got five branches now. I think that's enough for a fire. Um, right, let's build a fire here, I think. Arrow over. Build, thank you. Let's join the crafting queue. Lovely. Now, is that up here? There we go, yeah. Can I put you there? Good. Let's put some wood in you. Oh, a grub. Fat grub. Disgusting yet filling. And I think I can eat that just as it is. Let's eat it. Yeah, good. Feral flesh. Can't eat that. Uh, right, wood we want, don't we? Let's bring it over. We won't, we won't put in the 95. We'll just put in something like 20. Yeah, that'll do. Let's get the savoury flesh over. This is good eating, as you can imagine. And then we've got to custom, and then L2. Lovely stuff. Why did I just... Oh, I didn't transfer both meats over for some reason. So select that one. Come on. Put it in there. Custom L2. Lovely. And let's just eat those now. Um, no, I, I will take that actually. I will take it. Save that for emergencies perhaps. What I want to do now is build a little house. Now what you can do, um, I've been using a pick to break up these stones. I could use an axe, but I wouldn't get as much stone out of it in the same way that I could chop down a tree with a pickaxe, but I wouldn't get as much wood out of it. I would get bark, however, but I don't want bark at the moment. So let's go back to the axe. Let's go back to the pick, rather. We're going to need lots of stone and wood to make a little house. Very good. Got to watch our encumbrance as my inventory is filling up. Well, let's get some wood going. This is just going to be a temporary little house. Just something I can shelter from sandstorms in. Well, I've got quite a lot of wood now. Now what I want to do is go to my crafting menus. Then R2, R2 again. And we want to choose this. There we go, it's construction. And this is the apprentice mason skill. So let's select that. So all the recipes under apprentice mason have now gone to my main menu. So let's look in here. There we go. I want to make, uh, what I want to do is make six of those. Right, I'm out of stone already. Damn it. Get the pick up. Right, this is where the grind comes in. And yo! And these rocks will regenerate over time. Unless you build on them. In which case they always disappear. Okay, yo! And run. Getting quite close to my carry limit soon. I can still move around, but just very slowly. I'm very vulnerable. A bit more. And let's make some more of those blocks. Uh, what I can do actually, go to the main menu, and you'll see I've made a block down here. I've got three of them. I'm going to select it by pressing X. Then I'm going to press L1. 
And what I'm going to do, I'm going to swap out the stupid bees up there. So I press X again and they've swapped round. The blocks are in the menu and the bees are out. So I can now go here. Here's my little sandstone foundation. Let's put you down here. No, no, don't want to do that. Wrong button. I want to place. Uh, place you. Place you. And that's the three blocks I've built. But if I want to build another one, I just select the circular menu. And then select sandstone foundation. And down the bottom right you can see it's building me one. And I'll just repeat that a few more times. Uh, let's put you there. Oh, wrong button again. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be pressing the wrong buttons for a while, I think. Can I make another block? There we go. Uh, and I need one more after that, don't I? Have I not got enough? Come on, make me a block. I might need more stone. Come on. No, I've got loads of stone. Why, why didn't it make me a block then? Let's go back. Let's select that foundation. Put you there. Come on. Another foundation, please. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't build the second one. Very odd. Circle menu. Place you there. And now we want to make some walls. Let's go back up here. Let's select walls. Let's select a doorway first. Craft one of those. Then one, two, three, four, five. Right, out of stone again. Run, run. Lovely. Oh, right. It's broken. My stone pick is broken. But to repair it, all I need to do, as long as I've got the, the crafting materials to repair it, is to go and select it from this menu. Yep, and it's just taking four stone to do that. You can see that little cog. It's repairing itself. Very nice. I think I accidentally ate some insects then. Oh, it's ready again. Whack away. Come on, I'm really quite worried about sandstorms. Because if a sandstorm killed me now, I would end up back at uh, the broken highway. I wouldn't lose anything, but I would um, end up all the way down there. A little bit annoying. Let's go to the central menu. Let's select the doorway. Let's put that up here. Select again. Back here. I'll stop that. <laughs> uh, let's select the three bits of wall we made. Let's swap out the doorway. Back again. Select the wall. Out of face. Stop it. I, I'm sorry about this. I keep pressing the wrong button. Out of face, out of face. Going to level, very good. Let's make some more wall bits. Oh, I've created a home. Not a very good home. Um, I want a little window in my house. Or at least one. Let's go back here. Let's select a wall with a window in it. Craft. Oh, I need some more stone. <laughs> right, night's coming down. Yeah, well, it falls very quickly. You can build in the dark though. Good. good. Where's our wall bits? There's three wall bits. So let's put an outer face there. I'll stop it. Uh, put another outer face there. And another one there. Then we'll go into... Is that all of them? Yeah. Go in there and make a window. Three of those, I think. We'll wait for the first one to craft. 
That appears over here. Let's swap that out with the regular wall. Pick it up. Oh! <laughs> right, I'm going to stop apologising. If you see me jump in the air, I've just hit the wrong button. Okay. And over here, out of face. Very nice. So that's all the walls. Let's make some ceiling bits now. Here's the ceiling bits over here. Right out of stone. Bollocks. No, stop that. Right, I don't want to select that. I want to select my pick. Find some rocks to bash up. Probably need some more wood as well, to be honest with you. Let's get the hatchet. Very good. One over here. Come on. If I can get a bit of a roof on this, we might be safer from a sandstorm if it comes. Select that. How many of those can I make? Not many. Two, in fact, I think. Right, well, let's get that up. Select it. L1. Don't need the uh, ceiling. Oh, no, we... Right, no, we don't need the base basement block anymore. Come out. Select. Do that. And that. Let's go and get some more bloody stone, eh? Let's get the torch up as well so we can see what we're up to. Oh, look. Bloody hell. I didn't realise there was... Okay, this is probably not a good position to pick. I didn't realise there was a camp around the corner. Still, they haven't spotted me. Just gonna watch out for them. Come on. Oh, I can hear horrible windy sounds. There might be a storm coming. No, actually, I think we're all right. Come on. Another reason for building a house here is that we're quite close to this priest of Yog, who lives over there. You can see that glow? Not the fire in the sky on the ridge. You see that glow in the middle there? There's a priest who will teach us the ways of Yog. Because there are various religions that we can adopt. You can adopt all of them. And they each give you different abilities. It's all quite interesting. Get in here. Build more roof. Another one. Two roof. Three roof. Just the three roofs, is it? Have we got one, yeah. Select you, select you. Right, find a shelter. So we've got enough shelter to qualify as a shelter. Another bit of roof. And the last bit of roof here. Come on. Nice! Now we just want a door. So let's make a door. Um, have I got the recipe for that? Yes, I do. Right, I need 25 wood and 5 bits of twine. Let's make some more twine. Uh, might need to get some more twine, actually. Let's get some more plant fibre. Plant fibre is ever so useful for all sorts of things. Right, I can hear the wind whistling. But we're okay. I think our shelter will be good enough. Oh, bollocks. Okay, the, the torch is given out. We can repair it though, like everything else. Let's find our house. Let's try and get inside. Call up our menu. Go over. Select door. Very swiftly being crafted there. Let's look for it on the left. In our inventory. Select it. Select this. We don't need any more roof bits, do we? So let's put it there. Come out. Select. Then position. There we go. And I've got my lovely secure little house. That torch. There we go. That's nice. I can look out the windows. See who's out there. 
Good, and the last thing I'll do, I'll make a bedroll. And I'll explain how these work. Our oh, stomach hurts again. Right, bedroll is down here. I've got all the ingredients for it, so let's make it straight away. Come on, crafting away. I've got another grub to eat, that's nice. Let's go and find the bedroll over here. Let's put it where the door was. Select it, put it on the ground. Okay, I've updated my spawn point. So before, my spawn point was where the game started, back at that, um, that road thing where we first joined the game. But now if I die, I will spawn here. And later on in the game, when I start making a proper bed, I'll have a choice of places I can spawn. If I've got a bed and a spawning mat like this, I can actually choose whether to spawn back in my bed or on the mat. So for example, if I had a base um, to the far south and I was exploring up north, and you know I died and didn't want to go all the way back to the south, I could have my fibre bed roll close at hand and just spawn into that. So the idea is that when you go travelling, to keep making these fibre bed rolls and put them down, and they become your spawning points. Anyway, I think I've garbled that a little bit, but hopefully you'll get the gist. Anyway, we've been playing for quite a long time. Um, I think I've shown you most of the things I wanted to. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. I shall be coming back here, doing more stuff. But uh, yeah, pick up Conan Exiles if you get a chance. It's a great game, very interesting. I've seen it going for £15 in some places, so it's an absolute steal. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you'll come back again soon for some more, and until then, I shall say goodbye. Okay, cheerio.